solve this for the real zeros, I would set this equal to 0. When we're solving, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we just want to use our inverse operation. So I'm going to subtract a 5 first. So I have negative 5 equals 8 times negative x minus 2 cubed. Then I need to divide by 8. So I have a negative 5 over 8 equals negative x minus 2 cubed. Now, to get to inside this x, I need to undo the cubing. So I need to take the cube root. I don't know what number multiplied by itself three times gives you a negative 5. I do know that the cube root of 8 is 2. Um, but I'm just going to leave that as is for right now. And so now that equals negative x minus 2. So all i got to do is solve for x. Add 2, add 2. So I have the cube root of negative 5 over 8 plus 2 equals negative x. Now again, what else do we do to solve for x? You divide by negative 1. So my final answer I would write as negative 2 minus the cube root of negative 5 over 8 equals x. Again, we could simplify the cube root of 8 as 2. So we could leave that as like a negative cube root of 5 over 2. Um, but I don't really see much difference in doing that or not. Anybody have any questions? Yes. Because negative x, I'm solving for negative x. I want to solve for positive x. So I can either divide by negative 1 or multiply by negative 1 on both sides. OK? Anybody have any other questions over anything? Did you figure that one out? Daniel, did you guys go over that?